Okay, so last week we did um, how these teams got their names the AL East. We're going to reverse it and go this week. How these MLB teams got their names the NL East. Ooh. So first team is going to be how did the Philadelphia Phillies get their name, David? If I had to guess, I would say it's because they're from Philly. Uh, nail on the head. Um, <laughs> <laughs> being one of the major league's oldest teams, got their name in a fairly straightforward manner. The name Phillies is a shorthand for Philadelphia. The team was originally established in 1883, and they were known as the Philadelphia Quakers for their first few years. In 1890, they officially adopted the name Phillies, which has remained ever since. The name was a simple and effective way to represent the city of Philadelphia and has become a significant part of the team's identity and tradition. The Quakers just doesn't have the same ring to it. Like, would would their like logo be homeboy from like the oats, like sitting there? Like, it would be that uh, to do with the hat and the, like, that's yeah, the puffy, from, from, yeah, the oatmeal the oats. guy, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh-huh. like the Quaker oats, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Okay, how about um, how did the Atlanta Braves get their name, David? Something to do with Indians. I think that's a good guess. Something to do with Indians. That's pretty yeah. good. Um. So the name Braves for the Major League Baseball team has an interesting history tied to the team's early years. The franchise was originally established in 1871 as the Boston Red Stockings. Shout out to last week. Um, Over time, the team went through several name changes. So 1871 to 75, they were the Boston Red Stockings. 1912 to 1952, they were the Boston Braves. 1953 to 1965, they were the Milwaukee Braves. And the 1966 the current Atlanta Braves when they relocated to Atlanta where they've continued to use the name. The Braves name has thus traveled with the franchise, though it's various relocations become a historic and recognizable part of the team's identity. The name was chosen to symbolize bravery and strength. The team also had connections with Native American imagery and symbols during this era, though the modern use of the name is more about tradition than any specific cultural reference. Not bad. Heard it here first. Still not canceled. Not yet. How did the New York Mets get their name? Um, I'm going to say it's because they played in metropolitan New York. Very good. So established in 1962, got their name as a nod to New York's baseball heritage. The team, the team's name Mets is short for metropolitans, reflecting a desire to capture the spirit of New York city and its metropolitan area. When they were founded, they were created to fill the void left by the departure of the Brooklyn Dodgers and the New York Giants, who had moved to California. The name Metropolitans was chosen to evoke the city's grand urban identity and to symbolize the team's ambition to represent all of New York, not just a single borough or area. I didn't realize they were so new. I was going to say, if you said when were the Mets, I'd have been like, eh, 1910. And now I'm trying to figure out... Who my grandmother would have rooted for before the Mets? Uh, Brooklyn, probably the Dodgers or the New York Giants. Okay. 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 Um, next one I have is how did the Washington Nationals get their name, David? Um, I'm going to guess because Washington is the nation's capital. It's pretty darn good. Yeah, I will stick with that. So established in 2005, the Washington Nationals chose their name as a nod to the city's rich baseball history and its national significance. The name Nationals pays homage to a previous Washington baseball team, the Senators, played in the city from 1901 to 1960. When the Expos moved to D.C. and became the Nationals, the team sought a name that connected the city's heritage. Nationals was chosen because it reflects both Washington's status as a nation's capital and ties to the old Senators team, which was a well-known part of Washington's baseball history. I think it's it's funny that a team from Canada like became moved to the, to the nation's capital. Yeah. I think it was much more along the lines of like, well, Montreal's not exactly bringing in the money. Let's 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 bring in a team back to a a well-established baseball town and obviously the nation's capital where there's going to be more people and, and money and just yeah, it brought money yards. in for what? 60 years. Is it 1901 to, to 60? 50. Yeah. Uh, so next question, do they have 
Senators in Ottawa? That's yeah, a hockey team. Right. But like I, I get the Washington Senators name, but like I wonder what significance that has. Well, David, I can tell you the Ottawa Senators drew their name from a historic Ottawa hockey team. The original Ottawa Senators were a prominent team in the early days of hockey. Played in the NHL from its inception in 1917 to 1934. The team was named after the Roman Senators, reflecting a sense of prestige and history. Um, so the modern Senators reflects both a respect for the past and a desire to link their new team with the Ottawa's storied hockey tradition. Okay. And last team, the current Miami Marlins, former Florida Marlins. How did the Florida and or Miami Marlins get their team name? That's a tough one. It's tough. I would guess I get that it. Florida waters are populated with Marlins. That's a great guess. So here I have <laughs> that the Miami Marlins originally known as the Florida Marlins got their name from the Marlin fish, which is native to the waters off the coast of Florida. The Marlin is known for its speed and agility attributes that the team hoped to embody. Well, they should keep open. Um, to be fair, they did win what a world series. The My Gary, Sheffield, Gary Sheffield days. Sheffield. Hey, yeah. yeah uh huh. And so uh, when, I know more. Was there a Moises Alou on that team? Uh, he was a Montreal Expo. I can tell you that much. Okay. Keep reading. So the franchise, when they were established in 1993, chose Marlins <laughs> to reflect the local, local marine life and the connection to South Florida region. Like I said, um, in 2012, the team underwent a rebranding and changed their name from the Florida Marlins to Miami Marlins to better represent their new home city of Miami and its vibrant multicultural community. The name Marlins was retained to maintain continuity and preserve the team's identity while aligning more closely with the city it now represents. So fish. Was that continuity supposed to be continuity? Yeah, it was. Okay. Listen, we have one every episode. <laughs> and today it's continuity. Well, Con continuity. Continuity. <laughs> what do you want Con it to be? Continuity. Continuity. Con continuity. Continuity. What are you yeah, trying to It's continuity. You trying to fuck it up? Continu but continuously. Continuity. Continuously to maintain continuity. No, it's, it's just continuity. 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 That's, the That's new what word you said. That's the new word of the day. Continuity. Diddy. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at? Myself. <laughs> uh, so the Marlins also won the World Series in 2003. Uh-huh. Okay. Moises well, Alou. When they, when they won, no, when they won in 1997, Moises Alou was on the team. And the okay. one I thought but didn't say was Bobby Bonilla was on the team. Yeah, he was. I just picture Moises Alou as an expo with Vlad just hanging out. Okay. Second base, um, Moises Alou, second base? Or was he outfield? He was left field. I do okay. remember him as an infielder, though. Uh, we also have Jeff Conine. Oh, yeah. We have Edgar Renteria. Oh, Edgar. I still remember uh, him as a, he's a Mariner in my mind. Yeah, same. Craig Council. Mm-hmm. Craig Zahn. Who do they have pitching? Uh, Al Leiter. Uh-huh. Kevin Brown, Alex Fernandez, Tony Saunders sounds familiar. Leave on Hernandez. I could leave on or off either way. Eh, it's up to him. Uh, and uh, Antonio Alfonseca, uh, Kurt Miller. Yeah, the pitchers. I don't really. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, Mark Kotze sounds familiar. No, he doesn't. Kirk Abbott <laughs> sounds familiar. Uh, Josh Booty. There you go. Rocking everywhere. Rocking everywhere. Woody, 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 woody. Todd Dunwoody. All right, let's do this draft. I, I, I looked up the, uh, the Quakers thing when you were reading that, and apparently Philly's nickname is the Quaker City. I can see that. Yeah. I don't know how you can see that because it comes from the Religious Society of Friends, also known as the Quakers, who settled and founded the city. Yeah, the Quakers are a Christian religious sect that originated during the English Civil War. I can see it because there's still a ton of um, of Amish in Pennsylvania. That's got to be the Amish capital. Yeah. And I, it's kind of an affiliate of Amish is Quakers, right? Like Catholics and Christians kind of affiliate, but you know, Quakers and Amish. Do Amish like oatmeal? 
Because that's definitely an Amish dude in that circle, that logo. No, it's a Quaker. Well, he looks Amish. Is the Quaker oatmeal? And then guy. what's what's the other Amish Quaker religion people? I don't Mennonites? Mennonites. That was perfect timing because that popped up on Google and I was like, did you see me side eye it? Like no. Mennonites? No. <laughs> no, the Quaker Oats man is not Amish. So the Amish are Christians who believe in the Bible is the word of God, while Quakers may not identify as Christians and believe the Bible is not the only holy book. Quakers are not baptized members, celebrate communion, while Amish have a variety of traditions. Amish have Calvinist theology, while Quakers have a theology that is more open to possibility of understanding salvation in this life. Hmm. Well, the Quaker Oats Company's founders uh, chose... Quaker name to represent their products, good quality and honest value. So it could have been the Mennonite oats. Doesn't have the same ring to it though. <laughs> that reminds me of something. Mennonite oats? No, this is really good. 